The function of delimiting the area of a project serves to filter out any elements from other projects that pass through it, such as poles or elements from a parent project. This way, you don't have to see the entire path that your backbone takes on the map, which improves interaction with the system. Here I've provided an example of a parent project, where the path my backbone takes is this one and this one above it too. But here in my child project, only a piece of each backbone appears. Because the area of this project has been delimited, only this piece appears. In the parent project, you can see which areas your child projects have. To do this, you need to go to this sidebar and select project areas. These child project areas will then be shaded. In your child project, you can see which areas your sibling projects have. Again, just go to the layer here and select the project area. They will then appear here on the map. From this tool, you can also move from one project to another. To do this, just right-click anywhere on the screen and select Change Project. Then you select which project you want to go to. Or you can click on a specific project and switch to the sibling project. That's the one here. The same goes for when you're in a child project and want to switch to a sibling project. Just click here, switch either to the parent project or to sibling project 3, which is this one. When you create a new project within O's map, the system already establishes an area for you to work within. In my case, the system has set up this very large area here. To edit it, you need to go to this icon on the top left-hand side, and either you can edit this area manually or you can generate it automatically. But for this area to be generated automatically, there must already be at least three elements in your project so that the system can form a polygon from this. I've already put three CEs in my project, so I'll generate this area automatically. Then, from there, you can modify this area by holding down the squares and moving them according to the area you want. Once you've done that, just click on Save. The system will ask you to restart the page so that it can load the project with more or fewer elements, depending on the edits you've made to your area. Then I'll click on Update. And just like that, your new area has been created. If you want to edit it, just come back here and click on Edit Current Area.